Hello viewers, Lance Mechanics here today, and I got a little treat here for you. P2 sent me over the world's second smallest thermal camera, and they asked me to compare it to the TC View from Top Don. So in today's video, we're gonna go through that. Uh, first impressions is the wife seen this and she's like, ooh, a ballerina. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. So uh, we're gonna open the box and go from there. Um, as you guys know, oh, here's a knife. I wasn't even planning on that. My videos are pretty raw, so I don't like to edit too much. You basically get to learn as I go and you get to see what I see. And this box feels nice. Oh, I already scratched it. Cannot return to sender. Oh, it's a sideways open one. Ooh, this material is pretty good. It's getting really fancy. It's packed like a phone. What do we got here? The video cord? It say on there? Eh, doesn't say anything but important. Like, wow, what's in here? This is solid. Emails. Ooh, wow. Whoa, that is quite the user's manual. Obviously more than one language, but damn. <laughs> Very neat. I will refer to that eventually. Thermal master, eh, important stuff tech support. I imagine you need an app for this because uh, this one, to make work, I had to download an app on my phone, which I'm going to show two phones as we do this. And then here's the camera. So the world's second smallest. Oh, look at this. Anyways, comes with a little uh, carabiner. That is cool. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, this looks pretty. Oh, that's the carrying case. I didn't think this would come with a carrying case. What's this for? Shiny sticker, pop this open. Wow, okay, that is pretty small. Second smallest, let's get it some uh, comparables here. Look at that. Like, you fit, well, if you're going like that, technically you could fit like three and a half of these in here. Let's check the back side of both. Thermal Master, topped on. What a size difference. And it looks like it's got, yeah, a little bit of a landing there. So I noticed on the top dons, it gets pretty damn close to the bottom of my cell phone. And when you have a case on, it gets a little unwieldy. Whereas this one, I still have to take the case off. Either way, thought I'd mention that. So I still can't get over this case, just to give you an idea. I'm not saying like buy anything based on a case, but here's what the top don one comes in. This hooks on a carabiner. I can bring this underground with me. I can tuck this away in my beat bag in a small little area. I can hook it on there. Oh, I, man, I'm very happy about this. You have no idea. Uh, <laughs> sorry, a little rant there. So I read the instructions. It's going to be another app. So you flip to page two and you have the little thingy here and you'll download the app and we'll go from there. Um, here's some specifications. If someone, focus, wants to look those over, I'm not much of a tech person. All I know is red stuff on screen equal heat. Uh, blue is colder. Black is very cold. So yeah, we'll go from here. Here's the operating temperature storage. Don't store it more than minus 40 or 185 Fahrenheit, obvious. Operating temperature, five Fahrenheit to 131 Fahrenheit. Yeah, minus 15 to 55 Celsius. Pretty, pretty standard. Uh, don't go using this in the Arctic. It probably won't work as well. All right, so you're looking at both them on some phones here. You can see what you can see. Neat. So. You'll try and guess which one's which. You can put your answers in the comments. Um, one, They both take apps to download, and they're kind of a pain in the butt, but you can find them on Google. It takes a few minutes, they'll download. Very simple. Um, the QR code kind of, like I said, it was a pain in the butt. So now, looking here, each is a little different. So you have the record option on all of them. This one takes photos on the left, this one takes it on the right. I guess I'll show you what it is. The right is the top don, the left is the P2, as you can see there. Both will record, so I'll hit here while well, using this app. It's recording right now, this same one, recording. Looks good. Um, each is their own. This, they're both highly customizable. So, eh, this is all my phone, this isn't me. <laughs> the little thing on the top there. Oh, it's showing my uh, camera, that's neat. So, has colors, that's a neat little feature. I'm sure this one has it too. 
Everybody likes the uh, Predator one. Or was it this one for Predator? I think it was probably these, huh? You tell me in the comments. Um, they're very similar on these settings. I'm just trying to go through them both at the same time. I can't be perfect. Low light. We're getting into some freaky ones here. Neat. Uh, when I first fired it up, the P2 was on the gray setting right there. Is I mean, using my thumbnail. It's freaky, huh? Let's try and do contrast to each. So first one's gray. <laughs> Lava. Medical. These ones have names on it. That's these nice. Low light, you know. You shoot those videos. Aurora, jungle, rainbow, red hot. <laughs> Black hot, white hot temperatures. Yeah, these ones don't really show that. But let's see if I can change the direction of the camera thermometer. You'll hear a little clicking now and then. Iron, rainbow. Uh, iron was the one I was keeping it on. These are probably all considered iron. But you can see the contrast right here. They're both doing their job. As you can see here, 42.7, 42.8. They're very, very accurate on the temperatures. They're, we're both pointing at the back of the camera here. Very happy with that. So let's go do some, it's kind of hard to compare here. Can you zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in on the one. That's fascinating. I should be able to zoom in on this one. Uh, let's go to the here. No, I'm still recording. Um, let's not record. Eh, stop. Same with this one. I think I'm recording. Stop. Okay. Now let's see if I can zoom in. I'd like to, yeah, because this one zooms in right here. You know. God, my too many calluses on my fingers. <laughs> this one has to zoom in. Full image, plain. Nope. Got it. Hmm. Pretty sure it zoomed in the last time I used this. Well, I guess we're learning something today. What's the scale do? Oh, look at that. Adjustable on the fly. Hmm. What do you know? Does this one have something like that? <laughs> like I said, there's the photo I took. <laughs> so, auto, I got it on auto. Now let's play with the temperatures, colors, circle. What's the circle do? Line. Oh, look at that. I don't know what these are doing, but. Oh, they're giving you the temperatures between the lines. Oh, that's neat. How do I undo that? Do I just hit this? No. Okay, maybe exit back to camera. Will they still be there? That's the question. Ah, they're gone. Okay. So temperatures. All. This. What's this do? Opacity. That's for the camera on the front. What's this do? Brightness. Okay. Oh, too bright. Okay, so we can try and match the colors a little better. It's probably gonna go white hot there. Okay. See how it has three indicators of temperature. That's interesting. Very interesting. But I like this. Flame on. <laughs> okay. What's contrast do? Okay, interesting. Scale. Scale for what? Oh, so that is the side one maybe? No. Yes, it is. Okay, so it has that same feature. Good to know. Mirror. I guess you just flip it. Yeah, and then rotate, 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 rotate. Three rights make a left. Uh, or wrong. Hmm, neat. Let's put that temperature back up. Fascinating. So I just went into dynamic mode on this one. It lets you do some stuff. Everything else on the other one was like uh, auto features. So they're all pretty cool here. What's this one do? Got it. Changes the temperature range. Uh, we'll probably go in back into automatic here. Yeah, let's go back automatic. So each has its own little features, which is pretty neat. So we're gonna go follow this one around and see what things look like in the shop with the lights off. And we're gonna park this one for now. All right, so I'm gonna give you my raw unedited thoughts on this. So 
clearly there's a price point difference between both of these, which changes what you're getting. Being honest here, the Top Don looks way better in the videos. It's the price difference. This one retails for, I think, $250 Canadian without a discount, and this one's pushing uh, $350, $400. So there's a lot of technology in here. It's quality product. They're both quality products. But depending on your budget, you're going to go for one or the other. And um, depending on your application, so I didn't show any automotive stuff. I did that in the last video here. I was doing a comparison between both of these to give you a good idea what's going on. And that's what they asked for. So I think they're both good units. Um, if you're looking for something on the lower end, like not quality, like how do I explain that? If you need something more budget friendly, this P2 is where it's going to be at for a thermal imager, imaging. Uh, this one is specifically set up for my Android. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of iPhones. So buying these units, even these ones, you got to be very specific on what you're buying. Uh, if you buy the Android one, you're kind of S well, and you'll have to return it. Uh, and then you'll have to get the, <laughs> you know, the one for your phone. And there's different models. Uh, thermal imaging technology is very interesting. You heard a lot of clicking in here. There's a lot going on in this little unit. But again, look at the size of this in the carrying case, wherever I did with it. Oh, it's right here in front of me. This is something neat. Like I said, this one's probably going to come underground with me. Um, I'm probably not as, uh, again, this is the high quality one, in my opinion. But this one, I feel like is at a price point where I could be a little more dangerous with it or brave. I, I like that topped on one, but that's gonna be my like true diagnostic tool. This one's gonna be my rough out in the field one. So uh, post in the comments what you think. If you like this review, I'll do more. I'm gonna use this in videos more, like uh, I've used this in the sidelines. It'll come in time. So yeah, Lance Mechanics, have a good one.